Hello YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with a review request from Wadi577 for the Deluxe QRX Megazord. Um, I've actually gotten a request for this from at least 10 different people. Um, so yeah, this is kind of highly anticipated. Um, before I start, I just want to say, like some of my other older Megazord slash mech that I have, I'm missing a few pieces. Um, in this case, I actually do have them, I just don't know where they are. Um, he's got two arms here and then a tail. Uh, I apologize I don't have them. At one point or another, when I was displaying it at various points, uh, the tail or the arms got in the way of something. So I just, um, I put them in storage somewhere and I can't remember where I put them, so I apologize that I don't have them. Um, I'll show where they're supposed to be when I pull out the Sentai book, so I'm sorry I don't have that, but it doesn't look quite as bad in Megazord mode. Uh, but so this is Curex uh, without any limbs or anything. Uh, yeah, he's missing his arms, but um, other than that, uh, detail-wise, with uh, on his own he looks good. He's got good paint on his face here. You can see here nice detailing all along his face and his eye. Um, his mouth kind of stays open because it's sort of a feature of transformation. Um, and then just on the side here we got standard silver paint and whatnot. It's kind of a tight space. Uh, up here we got laser cannons. Um, more laser cannons, yeah. Uh, let me move him back just a little bit. Okay. So what I'm going to show you also is what comes with this is a morpher which uh, controls the QRX. This is a voice activated one except it's not really voice activated, it's activated by um, you pushing these buttons to give it different commands. This one is walk, transform, turn, stop, um, fire, lasers one which doesn't do anything apparently, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, lasers two uh, does the light here and then the light in the other mode and then this is a uh, Missiles, which I'll show you in the other mode. It's already on because I was having issues with this turning on and off. I don't know if it's the batteries or it's just old, but there's on and off switch here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm right or not, but I believe in the Japanese version, the V Rex, um, this is actually voice activated with your voice. And then the morpher that came, uh, morpher changer that came with the V Rex was the only uh, time fire slash quantum ranger morpher representation they got. Whereas in America, we got this that came with the Megazord and then uh, made a uh, uh, our own morpher. So, but anyway, let's go ahead and show you the features that this guy can do. Um, let's do a uh, walk quick. Yeah, now you're going to embarrass me. Thanks a lot, QRX. I appreciate that. Let's try this again. Oh, it might help if uh, you don't become an idiot and you turn it on. Uh, I forgot that I didn't lift this on. There's a switch at the bottom. I remember I was going to show you that. There it is. So, just turn it on. It'll make that noise. Whoops, don't want to knock that over. And um, and then every few seconds or so that you leave it on, it's going to make a uh, kind of a standby noise like that. Yeah, there we go. All right, sorry about the technical mistakes. Come on, stop being a bitch. Okay, so here we go. Let's do walk first. Okay, and then you can stop it. With, just say stop, and then it'll stop. Um, yeah, it's kind of went nuts. Um, and then let me uh, move this in a different frame angle to do a turn, at least in this mode. Yeah, we know you're on. Alright, sorry about this, this is kind of tight space, so... Turn, you bitch. Um, I don't know why it's doing that, I don't know if it's whether it's out of batteries, or what. Um, but yeah, anyway. So it'll turn, usually, um, let's do missiles now, let's angle the camera up. And switch them around so you can see. So, lasers. And that's kind of cool. So now, um, let me move him forward a bit and just do the main feature of this, which is transformation. Let's hope he does it. I was having issues with him earlier, but let's go. Apparently, it goes Super Saiyan. I believe mine's going to start clicking and stopping. Yeah. There we go. I had to stabilize it. So, uh, yeah, there is a Megazord mode, which looks really quite nice. Um, he's got really nice uh, face detailings in here. As you can see, uh, his face, uh, original face becomes a chest. He's got these kind of uh, shiny lasers in here. Uh, cannon arm and then a fist arm. Um, I think this is supposed to shoot off. I'll show you that in a second. Sorry, there's a little bit of dust in here. Um, but yeah, he looks nice. Uh, in this mode, the uh, hands are up here kind of spread out, so that's what was causing issues with space. And then the tail just kind of stays there, so that's why I was having space issues. 
Um, so for the first non-electronic feature that this guy does, uh, fist punches out. Uh, it goes right behind me, so there you go. Uh, hours of fun. Okay, so um, let's try to do the features with this guy. Let's hope that he can turn and not embarrass me. Um, so let's go ahead and make him walk first. Oh, that was pretty that was pretty good. It stopped just when I wanted it to. Okay, now let's try turn. There we go. Before it knocks over the backboard, we have a Gecky Elephant. But so it does turn. It might just be the surface. Maybe the wheels are clogged. I don't know what's going on. I apologize about that. Uh, so for lasers, now you're going to see uh, these go. So, come on. You jerk. There we go. So, um, I made a mistake. Sorry about that. Uh, there seem, this seems to be one of my more flawed reviews. This button, Fire 1, is for Megazord mode, and Fire 2 is for uh, QX mode. So for the last feature that he has, which is uh, nipple cannons here, which really isn't nipples, but whatever, um, just push this button here, and uh, cannons will fire. Or missiles, more appropriately. There we go. Let's do another one, just for lols. So that's pretty neat. I like that a lot. Um, so overall, this is a really good Megazord. Um, I can't find the other cannon, so I'll just put this one in. This is a really good Megazord. Um, I can recommend it if you're a Time Force fan, a fan of the Q-Rex, the V-Rex of Time Fire, of Quantum Ranger. It's really quite cool. Um, I got it a long time ago, which is why I'm missing pieces and, and whatnot. I got it, I think, for a Christmas gift um, at some point. So I've had this quite a long time. Um, I don't know what the going rate on eBay is for it, but if you can find a good price, I can recommend it. Um, as always, I probably recommend the Japanese version over it. Um, let me get in the... Big Sentai butt quick, we got a few minutes here. Here we are. Okay, so uh, here we go. Uh, as you can see, the Japanese version just looks a little more glossed over. Um, it's got kind of a, a holder thing around the missiles. I don't know if that came with mine, I'm just missing it. Um, so yeah, and then you can put the Time Force Megazord on top, which I don't feel like playing down right now. Um, shows what it can do. There's the Morpher it comes with. I don't know if it comes with the gun or not. Just shows it. Uh, shows it comes with a little Q-Rex figure. Uh, there are the arms, as you can see. And then there is a tail right there sticking out. You can see it here. So yeah, um, if you can find a better deal on the Japanese version, I always recommend the Japanese version first because it usually is better. But um, this is still not so bad. It's kind of cool that potentially in the Japanese version, if I'm right, that you can control it with your own voice. But this is still okay, and it's kind of fun to control it in missiles and whatnot. So, uh, but yeah, it's a good Megazord. I, I recommend it. Uh, either version. Uh, sorry about all the little mistakes going on. Um, this was more of a, a challenge for me to uh, film, just because uh, the space requirements and the backboard and then the missing stuff. But so appreciate you being patient with me. Thank you to Wadi five five seven or five seven seven for this request. Um, continuing with the long line of requests, I have about twenty six um, requests before. Uh, there's gonna be a bunch of new stuff too once again, so there might be something in between. But it really doesn't matter because this might get uh, uploaded out of chronological order. So I'll stop rambling. So um, until next time, uh, to have a great one, uh, check out DawsonWriter.wordpress.com for written accounts of my new reviews. I'm not doing them for the request currently since there's so many. And check out the uh, podcast at shukenshinobi.podbean.com uh, and subscribe to that through the RSS feed or iTunes. So uh, until next time, this is Dawson Writer signing out.